video two on this air conditioning on this 2018 Toyota RAV4 with R134 refrigerant, 500 grams of refrigerant. We're all probed up. We got our tres uh, pressure transducers. We got our th uh, clamp-on thermistors on the pipes, the suction and the uh, liquid line. We have our ambient temperature humidity sensor and the other ones on the inside. So let's see what we have on this uh, running operation wise. Let's take a look at this. How does it differ from other cars that you've seen in my videos? I'm trying to get out of the glare here. I thought getting in the car could get me out of the glare. And it looks like we're not going to have that option to get out of the glare. Sorry about that, guys. We're working outside and fog. Let's see if I could get zoomed in here. So we're working at... Uh, Yep, Apple doesn't want it. There we go. Dry bulb. We got temperature right now. So right now we are coming out at 38.4 degrees. And that's taken by the duck da dash temperature right here. There's no sun load or light load hitting the dash. Everything's already cooled off. And as you can see, the temperature probe is not at the surface. It's being taken from deep down inside the ducting so you get your true temperature. Uh, our outside ambient, it's a nice cool day today. We're somewhere around 61 degrees outside ambient temperature. So let's go back to our pressures and we lost contact. Why did we lose contact, god dang it. So our high side pressure, our high side pressure is 80 degrees PSI on the high side pressure. That is normal for this vehicle under these operating conditions, 80 PSI. Our low side has been going between 25, 25, 25, 25, 26. And as you can see, the minute countdown is right here. So when you're grafting out and recording the running operation of your vehicle, all these get recorded and get attached to your customer sales receipt or invoice so the customer can see what you did. You can prove what you did in over time, not something some guy just wrote down on a piece of paper or pen or something like that actual live readings on the vehicle get over to our um, and it doesn't want to come back let's see we're there let me get out of here because it lost contact did I lose that battery no I'm hooked up there we go all right so our superheat is 6.1 degrees superheat Sub cooling, 6.8. We have the line temperature coming out of the evaporator. Remember that clamp that I had on the other side of the firewall on the suction line coming right out of the firewall is at 32.2 .2 degrees. Is right on the cusp of freezing. Just barely there. Won't make ice, but it's really close. And we see our liquid line. 74 degrees and what's our outside temperature our outside temperature is almost 62 degrees 60 so you got a few degrees uh what 15 degrees higher temperature there so everything is working good there let's speed this guy up and let's see if something changed i'm going to take the rpms up to almost almost 2000 rpms there we go about 1800 rpms somewhere between right around i'm going to try to hold it i'm going to try to hold it right there around 1800 rpms between 15 18 somewhere in that area if i can keep a steady foot have we changed look at our high side pressure no difference look at our low side pressure almost no difference look at it on the graft oh i erased the graft because i started over again Look at our superheat. Look at our subcooling. Almost no difference. Look at our temperature coming out of the evaporator. Almost no difference. 32 degrees still, even though I have the RPMs up. So this is what a variable displacement compressor does. You know, I have this guy say, just rev it up, make it faster so it sucks in more refrigerant in the low side. Revving it up doesn't do anything on this vehicle. All right, guys, I'll see you later.